The Royal Australian Air Force's MQ-4C Triton acquisition represents a, a transformative step in Australia's intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Designed for persistent maritime surveillance, the Triton complements the manned P-8A Poseidon fleet, forming a robust family of systems aimed at securing Australia's extensive maritime domain. Australia's interest in the MQ-4C Triton dates back to the early 2010s, with the aircraft considered for both military and customs enforcement roles. The effectiveness of the planned fleet for detecting small boats in northern waters was debated, particularly regarding cloud cover limitations. In 2013, Air Marshal Jeff Brown suggested a preference for additional P-8A Poseidon aircraft over a larger Triton fleet. Despite initial hesitations in March 2014, then Prime Minister Tony Abbott announced Australia's intent to purchase MQ-4C Tritons under Project Air 7000, an Orion replacement program. The plan was structured into two phases. Phase 1B focused on acquiring the MQ-4C, while Phase 2B centred on procuring 8 to 12 P-8A Poseidons. This structure mirrored US Navy operations where the MQ-4C provides high altitude broad area maritime surveillance, while the P-8A specializes in anti-submarine warfare search and rescue and electronic intelligence missions. The 2016 Defence White Paper reaffirmed Australia's commitment to acquiring up to seven MQ-4C Tritons. However, in June 2018, Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull announced the purchase of an initial six aircraft, with a seventh remaining under consideration. As of 2023, Australia had placed orders for four Tritons, with plans for an eventual fleet of six to seven aircraft. The first RRF MQ-4C Triton, designated AUS-1, arrived in Australia on June 16, 2024, and was formally unveiled at RF Base Tyndall on July 31, 2024. Nobber 9 Squadron was reactivated in June 2023 to operate the fleet, with command and control based at RF Base Edinburgh in South Australia. The remaining Tritons are expected to enter service incrementally, with full operational capability projected for 2031. The MQ-4C Triton's integration into the RAF aligns with Australia's evolving defence strategy, emphasising persistent ISR, maritime domain awareness and force projection. The Triton's primary mission is to provide continuous surveillance over Australia's northern approaches and Indo-Pacific territories. Equipped with the ANZPY-3 Multifunction Active Sensor FS, the Triton delivers high-resolution radar imagery across vast maritime expanses. Its ability to operate at altitudes above 55,000 feet for over 24 hours ensures persistent coverage, vital for tracking surface vessels, including those attempting to evade detection by turning off automatic identification systems. Additionally, the Triton's electro-optical infrared sensors enhance target identification and real-time intelligence streaming to ground forces. The MQ-4C's automation reduces operational strain on personnel while complementing the P-8A Poseidon's anti-submarine and anti-surface warfare roles. While the Triton monitors broad areas, the P-8A can engage hostile threats when necessary. This synergy strengthens Australia's ability to deter and respond to regional security challenges, particularly in the South China Sea and Indian Ocean. Australia's adoption of the MQ-4C Triton places at the forefront of unmanned maritime ISR in the Indo-Pacific region. However, China and India are also investing heavily in similar capabilities. China's WZ-7 Soaring Dragon and BZK-005 reconnaissance drones provide strategic ISR, though they lack the endurance and sensor sophistication of the Triton. Additionally, China's expanding network of satellites and manned surveillance aircraft compensates for any UAV limitations. India, meanwhile, has acquired the MQ-9B Sea Guardian, a variant of the MQ-9 Reaper for maritime surveillance. While the Sea Guardian offers high endurance and ISR capabilities, 
It lacks the Triton's specialized maritime radar and high altitude operational profile. Japan and South Korea have also expressed interest in advanced UAVs for maritime patrols. Japan operates P-1 maritime patrol aircraft and may consider supplementing them with unmanned assets. South Korea has acquired RQ-4 Global Hawks for land-based IASR, but has yet to integrate a dedicated maritime drone like the MQ-4C. The MQ-4C Triton acquisition underscores Australia's commitment to maintaining a technological edge in ISR capabilities. The aircraft enhances maritime situational awareness, deters potential threats, and supports humanitarian and search and rescue missions. The initial investment of $900 million, coupled with a $220 million maintenance contract with Northrop Grumman Australia, ensures a sustainable operational model while creating skilled jobs in South Australia and the Northern Territory. Despite its advantages, challenges remain. The high cost per unit and potential limitations in small target detection under cloud cover could restrict its effectiveness in certain scenarios. Additionally, full operational capability is delayed until 2031, which may leave gaps in surveillance coverage during the transition from the AP-3C Orion. Nevertheless, when combined with the P-8A Poseidon, the Triton significantly bolsters Australia's ISR capabilities. Its ability to conduct near-continuous surveillance, provide real-time intelligence and operate across vast distances makes it a valuable asset for the RF. As regional tensions grow and technological advancements accelerate, the MQ-4C Triton ensures Australia remains well prepared to address contemporary and future security challenges in the Indo-Pacific. Looking ahead, the evolution of unmanned aerial systems and artificial intelligence could further enhance the Triton's effectiveness. AI-driven data analysis could improve real-time decision-making, automating threat detection and response coordination. Additionally, advancements in satellite communications and sensor integration may allow for improved fusion of Triton collected intelligence with other surveillance platforms, creating a more comprehensive maritime security framework. Australia may also explore cooperative UAV operations with regional allies such as the United States and Japan. Enhanced data sharing agreements and joint surveillance operations could maximise Triton's strategic utility, but particularly in contested waters such as the South China Sea. The increasing use of autonomous systems in modern warfare raises the question of whether future iterations of the Triton could incorporate greater autonomy in mission planning and execution. With continued technological progress, Australia's Triton fleet may see upgrades that improve endurance, sensor fidelity and multi-mission adaptability, further securing its role as a cornerstone of the nation's ISR strategy. Ultimately, Australia's MQ-4C Triton program represents a forward-looking investment in security and defence, ensuring that the RAF remains equipped to meet the growing challenges of regional security and global intelligence operations.